So cutting the turf is also known as Heidi Stiak and it's a lively dance and you really need to keep a very steady rhythm all the way through. You need to have that third finger over on the bass string again because you're doing a lot of work with all the fingers left over and so before you start practice with that little exercise third finger on string six fret three a G and play on top of it or even go over to string three like this. So let's just look through the first little section. You've got that string six fret three and you're playing on top of it like this. Now when you get to this note in bar three, you've got a pull off, or in more musical terms, a legato note, which means you pull that finger and let your left hand do all the work. No right hand involved, just pull away like that. That's a pull off. You can also have a hammer on, but this is a pull off, which means you go very smoothly from one note to the other. Legato means smoothly. So moving from the beginning to there, you've got this. And then it's not too bad until you get to bar six, and then you've got. First of all, you've got this uh, rather tricky move over to string six and over to string three, both at the same time and both played at the same time. So from the little bit before it's... So you want to take that out and practice it by itself. This is the first few notes of bar six. Just take that and practice it a couple of times. And then, uh, very tricky actually, I found this quite hard and I'm supposed to be good. So five, six, bar seven, you've got... You've got... That's okay, just one finger, but then you've got to get these two over again and you've got to do a pull off onto an open string. And it's still not over because you've got to put that fourth finger over on string four, fret four. A lot of work to do in that bar. You want to take it really slow. So this bit here is the hardest part of the piece. Moving on, there's not much else to talk about because it's repeating the same ideas. We'll just look at bar 12. <clears throat> that's moving from two open strings, that's okay, but then you've got quite a big stretch. You've got to put string six fret two down, an F sharp, and string two fret three, which is a D, and you may as well get down your third finger on string three, fret two. So from the open string at the beginning of bar eight, all three fingers down, and at the beginning of bar 13, put those two fingers down, fingers three and four. That's quite tricky. So again, practice that bit by itself. And then it's kind of repeating the same ideas towards the end of that line. So. We'll now go through really slow, because this is quite a hard piece, really slow to see if you can keep up. section and that's it